Working on your history report, too? Yeah, I'm brainstorming. I'm trying to narrow down my list of subjects. Who's on it so far? People with grit. Nelson Mandela, Louis Zemperini, Malala Yousafzai, and Ida Lewis are my top picks so far. Nice. Have you picked your person yet? Mm-hmm. Berta Cáceres. She's from Honduras, convincing land developers to abandon a project that could endanger Lenca people. An absolute Wonder Woman. Wow. Sounds like you're farther along than I am. Mm, I wouldn't say that. I've picked my person, but I'm just stuck on how to start. How so? It's just that beginnings matter so much, you know? It sets the whole tone for the rest of the piece. I need to introduce my topic and hold the reader's attention without being gimmicky or predictable. Well, you could always start with throughout history. <laughs> yeah, if I were nine years old. You know, a lot of these formulated essay starters they taught us in past grades don't really work anymore, do they? Like... Can you imagine how hard it must have been to blank in the year blank? Or the worst one, a dictionary definition? <sighs> None of those are good enough. I really care about Berta Casares, so I don't want to start off on the wrong foot. And in any beginning, every single word can make an impact on meaning and tone. Ugh, what should I do? Well, what do you have so far? Hmm, okay. What is it about Berta Casares that inspires you so much? I think she stood up to big companies with lots of power and wasn't afraid to use her voice, despite the danger. In fact, in her country, people die protesting against the powerful. That's perfect. What is? That's all you need to start. You could write something like, in countries where the right to speak freely is under attack, publicly challenging people in power could be dangerous or even deadly. And then I could follow it up with something like, for Berta Cáceres, protecting the environment and the rights of the indigenous people of Honduras was worth that risk. What do you need me for? That was great. <sighs> nice. I like it so far. But what about word choice? Should I call Cáceres an activist? An eco-visionary? A mover and a shaker? No, a cultural influencer. What? Too contemporary? I think that you should go with activist. Eco-visionary sounds nice, but it has the connotation that she thought or dreamt more than she acted. And I don't think that's the case. For Berta Casares, a courageous activist, Protecting the land and the rights of the indigenous people of Honduras was worth that risk. <sighs> I think you're right. It's clear and communicates the right thing. Thanks so much, Chris. You helped me get out of my writing rut. Happy to help. And we have to write ten whole pages, so we should try to help each other out. Allies? Allies. Well, I've got to go, but good luck. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Will do. Bye, Leah.